hello, hello, everybody. This is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts. And today I'm gonna give you a little bit of an unboxing uh, from some purchases that I made from Timu uh, as some fun diamond painting things. So first thing that I have that I purchased is actually this right here. This is a um, mouse pad, an extra large like under keyboard mouse pad desk topper. Uh, that I already unboxed and I wanted this one and I wanted something large like this to cut down on some of the glare for uh, That you guys have been getting and that I didn't like whenever I do any kind of my unboxings or whatnot on my desk from the wood finish of my desk So this was the first thing that I did and what I got about liked about this one That's kind of hard to tell is it's actually reversible so it can be green or it can be blue so it's sort of an unboxing of this one, but not really, because I already opened it up because I wanted to use it. Uh, this one was uh, roughly, I kind of wrote down the prices for you guys since I record on my phone and I use everything on my phone. Uh, so that one, it's basically, it's a 45 by 90 centimeter, so quite good size. Uh, and it was $12.47. And basically I just searched extra large mouse pads and kind of like looked through them found one that had a color that I liked and was like, that one will work. Uh, but I like variety and they had some other fun ones. So I picked up a couple of couple different ones. So if I got bored with this, I could have one with a little bit of variety and change it up. And also so I could use it on my actual uh, computer as well. So I also picked up this one here. For anybody who doesn't like the crinkle, I apologize to cut down on some of the crinkle. I took everything out of like the main big bag, but I did not take it out of the other thing. And I don't have any affiliate codes or anything like that. This is me just going on Timu. I've been purchasing things off of Timu here and there randomly, sporadically for almost about like a year, year and a half, somewhere around in there. For quite a while now, I've been making purchases off of Timu. Um, so it's been quite a while. So I also purchased this one off of Timu, another one of the mouse pads. Uh, this one is a 40 by 90, so not quite as long height-wise, but this one had a very pretty kind of floral pattern. I like this. So I kind of like that floral pattern. The one below it is kind of like a fake leather one, whereas this one is more of um, like a mouse pad finish. So it's a little bit shorter. It's like five centimeters or so shorter. And uh, so as you can see by that difference up there at the top, if I can get it straight in my compute, my phone is not straight, which is why it looks off right there. Um, and the same length, which is great. Uh, and I loved this pattern. So if I wanted to mix it up and give you guys a different background, I can. Uh, and this one does have the nice grippy non-slide backing, which is what I liked about this one here. Uh, so I got this one here and then I actually, and that one was um, $11.99 for that one there. Could have actually you know opened it on the side that you're supposed to open it on but that would just be too easy wouldn't it and then i got another one um that i really liked that kind of had very much of a that was great cutting cutting down thinking i'm cutting down the plastic and i was nowhere near the plastic that was wonderful great job Alyssa. the third one that i got i think is probably my favorite one of them actually so this third one uh, because I do Chinese brush painting as well so this one reminded me very much of a Chinese landscape um, a brush painting landscape because it's got these misty mountains you've got this so this was the third one that I got it's a little bit of variety so that way you know if I want to mix it up and not have you guys stare at the same boring backdrop on occasion you have some relatively simple plain backgrounds that aren't going to give us that same glare 
that you've been getting from just the wood background of my desk. So I wanna kind of mix it up in that essence. This one is also a 40 by 90 uh, centimeter, and this one was about 1239 at the time. And for all of these, these are the price that it was listed for, but I did have a discount um, from, like I think they had given me a coupon from like with like either 10 or $20 off of my purchase from a purchase that I had made previously. So I did get a chance to save some additional money from it. So those were the first things that I had to show you. Um, another one that I have, I've been enjoying doing these little coasters. Um, I've done a previous coaster. So this one, it comes in just a boring box that doesn't tell you what's in it. But if we open it up, it comes with a basic toolkit, pink pen, green boat, wax, and then you have your drills. And these are, looks like these ones are going to be all rhinestones. I'm not gonna actually, crystals, I'm not gonna actually open them up. It gives you a little holder for it. But what I liked is they're kind of like mandala type flower coasters and you get to bling them up. The one caveat that I have for all of these, so there's six different ones in this set and I've gotten a set, this is my second time getting a coaster set from Timu. The first coaster set that I got um, was a 10 pack, uh, which is very similar size wise and like little wood ones. The thing about these is they don't come with like a cork backing, like a coaster set that I've gotten from uh, Amazon came with like little cork backings. Um, and you'll have seen those in my month in uh, my June month in review video. You'll have seen the ones from Amazon and then some of the ones that I've already been working on for um, Timu, my ones that I've partially finished, I believe, as of the time of this filming from Timu. So there's six of them. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and ordered like a three and a half inch diameter, like peel and stick cork backing DIY things uh, based, that are made specifically for coasters that I can put on the back of these so I can actually use them as coasters. And when I do projects like these, I do go in and I do actually um, seal them with a glue for the drills so that way the drills don't pop off. Um, so that way they are good to go. So that is the first one of these that I purchased projects wise. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of the difference actually. Yeah, so I won't because those don't have the backing on. I also, I don't know why I purchased stickers because I have so many freebie stickers from all of the small shops that I purchased from, but I couldn't pass up like a 50 pack of mandala stickers. Uh, I love mandalas. Um, and the 50 pack of mandala stickers was like $1.28 for 50 stickers. So I need to figure out something to do with all of these stickers that I have because I mean, every sticker is different and they're all mandalas and they're so pretty and so colorful. So I got a 50 pack of stickers. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with 50 mandala stickers, but it was like $1.28 or so before my discount, so mandala stickers. And then I was in a sticker mood. I must have been in a major sticker mood because I also picked up, sorry, I have something itching my nose. Ugh. A number of these diamond painting sticker sets. Um, Cause I was like, these look fun. I'm not gonna open them. I picked up a number, like I said, I picked up a number of these. Uh, these ones were unicorn themed. So they were unicorns and cats. So uh, there's a couple different sheets in here you can see. So you've got these ones and you've got the ones that you can see on the back uh, and you can see they come with the kit. And then here's the drills. These ones do not have, uh, these are just regular drills. They're not like the rhinestone drills, which I think is completely fine. Cause sometimes you just want regular drills. You don't want the rhinestone -y drills. Uh, and I may with some of these decide to bling them up with, um, sparklers or with ABs because I have extra ABs from Diamond Art Club and that would be perfect to use some of those extra leftover ABs on kits like this where you just have a handful so we'll do them in front of sticker. Uh, so and I've got a number of these sticker packs and all these sticker packs range from like two dollars and twenty cents up to like two dollars and ninety eight cents and again like I said I had like a 
$20 off coupon code. This one right here uh, with this super shiny holographic, I don't know if you can even see that really well, uh, comes with larger special drills. So I will open that one up so you can kind of see it. Uh, I'm not going to do that with all of these. I'm just going to kind of give you the cursory look. But, yeah. so you can see the drills here uh, are these large, much larger than the normal ones, uh, and in different colors there. And you do get two sticker sheets with all of these. So you get, and each sticker sheet has like, six images on it. Um, so I thought those would be fun. You can see there's a theme here, all of them. They're kind of like fun rainbows, unicorns, like kitties with uh, unicorns on them. This one was like little dragons. I don't like that they put them, I wish they would have flipped them around so that to put them not on the side with the writing because it's hard to see. So this is like beachy theme. So I think this is the one that sold me on it. The one with, I love pink flamingos. So you've got this little guy with the, his pink flamingo inner tubes. These ones are the beachy themed. So I thought these ones are adorable because it's coming up. We're in summer now. So I went with this sticker pack and you can see they're the regular color or like the regular drills, no special drills for that one. Um, and then of course, you know, you gotta go with the cutesy like little kitty cats. So, and then, you know, there's like a little chick, little birdie. Uh, and then they have even more on this side with their drills there, with the colors there. And all of them come with the, just a basic, basic toolkit. And then we're getting down to some of the last ones. So more of the kitty cats. These ones don't look like they're as high quality, at least with their, uh, like they could have picked something besides, if they said a 10. Yeah, they could have picked a different symbol besides a 10 to try to cram a 10 onto that tiny little thing. That just doesn't make sense to put a 10 in there. And like there, they crammed a 13 on there. They could have picked like an A or a B, but no, they put 10s and 13s. But these cute little kitties, I thought those cute little kitty stickers were adorable. Uh, and I wanted some cutesy kitty stickers. So I've got all of those. I need like a notebook for all of my stickers. And then of course, the cute little green little rainbow unicorns with the donut and the fruit. So I had to get those ones uh, in the different colors and I'll probably bling these ones up a little bit uh, because the unicorns just call for some ABs. Um, and then same thing with these ones which are just the all out uh, unicorn rainbows. And I have a friend, uh, like a coworker at work that he absolutely loves unicorns. So I'll probably do up a couple of these ones and give him some of them already completed. I don't know if he would enjoy actually doing them or not, but, uh, cause he's usually pretty busy. So, uh, I'll probably complete some of these and give him like some blinged up little unicorn stickers, uh, cause he would get a kick out of those. And then the last one, which I thought was just very apropos for where I live, were these adorable cactuses. I couldn't not get the cactuses because, you know, they're cute and they're fun. And they've got like little smiles and happy faces. And I thought they would be just adorable for out here. And I may give the, I may bling up their flowers a little bit. So those were the sticker packs that I got. Yeah, a few too many, but I was like, you know, they're like a couple bucks a piece. And then with my discount, you know, might as well bling up those ones. And then I got two more sticker packs that were a couple bucks more. Uh, let's see, which one was which? Got a small box and a large box. I'm trying to remember which box was which. I think this is the small box. This smaller box was three dollars. Uh, it was about three forty for this smaller box. So it was a little different because it's like it came in a box, whereas those didn't. Um, and it was kind of odd that like because it's I feel like you get the same amount of stickers there, if not more there, than you do in this. But it just came in a box instead of not in a box which was odd, but uh, so you can see here, these are what you got, donuts. I was in like the donuts and sweets. Maybe I was hungry when I ordered these, um, but the donuts were super uh, cute. And that was like, this one reminded me of the, one of the Diamond Art Club uh, unicorn paintings that I have. 
that's what this little one that unicorn cake reminded me of but the donuts that was a cute one had to get that one um and at some point these may find their way to being gifted to somebody maybe once i get to a certain point with some views they may go into giveaways i don't know uh subscribers this one was a larger set with stickers so this larger box was a little over five bucks and it shows how many stickers are in this larger box here uh and this one has looks like larger drills uh so larger all crystals on this one so whereas the other most of these all of these ones were except for one of them uh that one right there was the one that had uh crystals but large crystals um the rest were regular drills this one has medium crystals uh in here so all of these stickers are medium crystals and you can see there's some crowns there's some unicorns there's some candies there's some more unicorns and a mermaid i actually bought this pack specifically because i wanted the llama and i wanted the pink flamingo that's literally why i bought this entire pack of stickers were for those two stickers right there that one and that one that's literally the whole purpose of this entire sticker pack those two stickers go figure uh yeah i wanted the llama and i wanted <laughs> the pink flamingo uh, which brings me to the last one that I got. Do you know how hard it is to find adorable pink flamingo, like, diamond painting type things? Uh, it is challenging. And that one, like I said, was roughly about uh, a little over $5 for this one that came in its box. I'll probably throw it in a plastic bag because the box is not in very good shape. Uh, but it seems like these ones were from, like, a very similar... Uh, shop on uh, Timu and then the last one that I got was a uh, was four dollars and 24 cents I am going to open it up and this one is my favorite out of all of these little diamond painting kits that I got because it comes with its own little frame so you will take it you'll pop it off of here trim the canvas once you're done and Peel the cover off of the plexiglass and pop it in its little plastic frame so and then it doesn't have like and it has where it'll just sit up on your desk like that like so but it's small enough and light enough that you could throw like a command hook on the back of it and then like actually hang it on the wall if you wanted which is probably what i'll do is hang this one on the wall but and then of course there's your kit or your basic toolkit and then your colors here so the basic colors, you can see those pinks, purples, any clue what that is, you guys? It's super cute. I'm about to show you the cuteness factor. Ta-da! Like, how perfect is this? So it's just a tiny little picture of a pink flamingo with a little rainbow behind it, which I just thought that little pink flamingo was adorable. Uh, I may see if I have any of uh, the colors that are in here like any of these rainbow colors already in uh, ABs, I may just go through my AB supply and see if any of them, because it actually does show the DMC numbers for the drills, which I'm impressed with because obviously none of these do. The baggies just have like here where it just says like this is F, E, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then it would correspond to there. Like these, the bags will have one, two, three, and so on. This one, it's actually labeled with, um, your, your colors are labeled with a DMC number. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's tiny writing, but I mean, it's a tiny little canvas. It's saying it's an 18 by 18 centimeter canvas, but you can see you've got your DMC numbers and that is adorable. Super cute, super tall or super small. Uh, you can actually read the numbers, like even your seven, it's in your sixes, which are tiny right there, are readable. Um, pretty clear cut. They do have sixes and nines, but they do distinguish between the six and the nine because the nine is yellow and the six is black. So that's easy to tell. Um, does have a good sticky. I mean, not bad for like a tiny little $4 kit that comes with a little frame as well. Uh, you will have to trim the excess canvas 
to be able to get it to fit inside the frame but I'm excited for that one and I am gonna see if I have any of these colors of the rainbow uh, to add a little bit of AB if I have any of those Let's see there's a 745 603 208 and 3325 I don't know if I have those I do have the stars the J's in the back I do have that that's just a 3865 so that I'll be able to add the stars as some bling but I'll have to check on the other colors but adorable so that was my little uh, diamond painting team haul for the randomness that I picked up from there um so you guys can let me know what you think of any of these products uh, and let me know if you have picked up any of these types of things yourselves and what your thoughts are. Have you guys done any of these um, sticker packs before yourselves? What have you done? Have you gifted them to anybody? Or have you tried any of these tiny little uh, kits that come with their own uh, frame there you go that's the word thank you guys so it's actually been a couple weeks since I recorded the uh, my Timu haul and I actually wanted to show you guys a couple completions from my Timu haul so these are two of the sticker packs and I actually bought this was the uh, sticker um, sticker booklet that um, Diamond Painting by Laura that Laura had recommended in one of her uh, videos that she had posted recently so I purchased it and I have to say I love it it's perfect because this is like the um, it's not regular paper it's like that I just cut my fingernails so now I'm not gonna be able to show you but it's like that look I can peel the sticker right back off again because uh, it's like that you know basically the same stuff that release paper is made out of basically since the word isn't gonna work well to tell you what it is but I went through and I've actually finished two of the sticker packs so this was the one that you know I literally purchased that one box of stickers for uh because of the llama and the pink flamingo so uh here give you a little flip through so you can see the shiny rhinestones of the stickers and how sparkly they were uh and you can see here this booklet is relatively small the pages are relatively thin this way uh, I don't think I, I'm really bad when it comes to reading descriptions of booklets, so I think I was expecting it to be like more the size of this, not so skinny this way, but I actually like how it turned out because there's like a lot, there's a lot of pages in here. Um, I think it's something like, uh, gosh, like 40 or something pages, which equates to 80 pages, single, like when you look at the side by side. So you can see here, this is all one sticker pack that you're seeing with those. Uh, and then that's the end of the first sticker pack. And then the other sticker pack that I completed was of course the cactuses. So look at these super adorable cactuses. I didn't do any blinging, I just did them as they were charted because I did these on one of my 24 hour duty days at work. I took these with me so I could work on them at work. Uh, Cause then I could just take them in their little pack as they came and work on them uh, but look at I love the little like faces in the cactuses I think that's like my favorite part is the little smiles and the little faces they're just too cute and then there are the other ones of these little cactuses <laughs> that one's my favorite the unicorn cactus so I just want to show you guys what they looked like was they're all worked up and completed and then kind of displayed in the sticker book because I wanted some way to kind of showcase these and how adorable the stickers could be and there you go uh, so that is what they are uh, so that is the end of this team video uh, so if you have not already done so please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you have not already subscribed to my videos go ahead and do so uh, and of course here's mochi showcasing her little self there's a mochi tail um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day if it's morning, have a good evening if it's evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.